think it's super important to take your dog to do things even if you maybe don't feel like going and that maybe it might be something that you wouldn't normally do. Part of training your dog, your service dog in particular is what I'm referring to, is taking them and putting them in different situations that they would not normally be exposed to. You want your dog to be able to be in situations and not react. So if you're only taking your dog to, you know, an empty park and for a walk around your neighborhood, your dog is not going to be exposed to as much, which is fine, except for whenever they are. They're not going to know how to react because things are going to be so, so exciting. In the past few weeks, Farabee and I have gone to a Christmas tree lighting, a Christmas concert, we went to a Christmas parade. There are definitely times that I've taken therapy to stuff that I didn't care if I go to or not just because I know it would be great exposure and training for her. Because what happens is, you know, your dog goes out to these things and at first whenever they're there, it's like, you know, their mind is blown. Like, it's a new experience. There's so many smells and different people and different sounds and sights and motions and stuff. And so they don't know how to react by repeat exposure to things like that they become more comfortable and they're going to be more calm in those situations so they are going to be able to work and actually do their job whenever they're at stuff like that if you don't expose them to stuff like that it's going to be like a kid in a candy store every single time forever every time you go so go to stuff as much as you can take your dog as much as you can so the weekend after the tree lighting we went to a parade we had, obviously there's not parades every day. <laughs> so this was kind of a different thing for us. Therabee was not comfortable with the Shriner cars, the little funny cars. She was not comfortable with that. We powered through. I didn't have a lot of expectation for her on that day because of parade, you know, it's a loud parade. There's bands, there's crazy stuff going on and there's cheering, you know, there's horses and you know, all kinds of things. So I didn't have a lot of expectation for her, but I took her, took a lot of treats with me she did great. She really did so good. Like I said, she wasn't comfortable with the Shriner cars that day and that's okay. She doesn't have to be. That's something, honestly, I wasn't particularly comfortable with them either. You know, <laughs> something of popping a wheelie and spinning around in front of you is a little bit disturbing, even for me. And I know what they're doing, but she was okay. You know, she was fine to sit there and watch it. She wanted to get away. Um, we didn't get away. We backed up maybe five or 10 feet or so from, we were sitting straight on the, you know, on the curb. We backed up a few feet and I just, you know, pet her and told her it was okay and fun and they're good and stuff. And she got more okay with it as it went by. I was very happy with that. I was super, super happy with how that turned out. None of the other cars were doing, you know, swirlies and things like the Shriner cars were, but there were other loud, loud cars and car horns and um, whatever it is where they, like the, I don't know what it's called, but it sounds like a train horn. There was other things like that too, and she was totally fine with it. So the point of me telling you this is you need to take your dog to stuff. If you are training them to be your service dog and you are doing the training, you need to expose them to stuff. You need to take, you know, trips you wouldn't take. I'm not talking about like out of town trips. I'm talking about like, you know, so let's just say you only go to the grocery store and that's kind of it. You need to go to the mall. You need to go to, you know, outdoor malls. You need to go to outdoor events if you can. A lot of dogs have a problem with outdoor stuff because they feel like they're off work. A lot of service dogs anyway, they think they're off work because outdoors and normally outdoors means we're not working. So a lot of service dogs, you know, they get tripped up there. So if you can find outdoor events to take your service dog to, definitely take them. Um, and also, like I said, anything that's kind of louder, obviously within reason, you don't want it to be like crazy bad loud but you know outdoor concerts are good um even if you can just find somebody like playing whatever a horn or guitar or whatever on the side of the road <laughs> walk by it and um, we have people like that at shopping centers you know they stand out and play music there's a lot of different things you can find to expose your dog to so try your best to take your dog to stuff so that they can experience it so they are used to it and so that they will act the way they should whenever you are around it like suddenly in real life.
nervous of the Shriner cars.
are at the horse part of the parade. So we're gonna see what happens. Kirby hasn't seen him yet, but I spot him down there. Good with 